super serious episode of Brickmania. Uh, welcome back, Brickmaniacs, to another episode of Brickmania TV. Today on Brickmania TV, we have the F-16C Fighting Falcon. C for Cody. C for Cody? Is that really what they... <laughs> I don't think that. No. Designed by this guy here. His name's Cody. What? What guy? You. Oh. Um, you have some history. Yeah. A little, of, bit. I mean, a little bit. It's the F-16, so... Yeah, it's the F-16. So, the F-16 and the F-15 were developed around the same time, mid-70s. Yep. Um, so this is basically just an F-15, like, struck in half. Yeah, it's got it's got one of the F-15's engines. Nice. Whereas the F-15 has two of those engines. Oh, <laughs> that's about so. as, as simple of an explanation as it gets, right there. Yeah. So, so. it's it's a multi-role fighter, um, just designed to kick butt. Yeah. And it's, I mean, you can see how stubby the wings are. It's basically just probably doesn't even need the wings. <laughs> just <laughs> yeah. a rocket. Yeah, just a rocket, and it's a. Uh, um, a really cool system, like a, a fly-by-wire system. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like an indirect, it's like electronically controlled. Yeah. Rudders and whatnot. It's a system that controls stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> uh, let's get right into the model. Uh, so this is the first time you've built uh, this beast. Yeah. Um, so so the goal is to have a more cost-effective modern jet. Right. Because um, a lot of our modern jets are really expensive, and this one's small enough where it's just dockable, right. cheaper. Taking out one of the engines helped. Yeah, taking out one of the engines helped right. considerably. Um, yeah, I mean, it's got, it's got some really cool detailing, uh, some nice sloping. Yeah, nice sloping. So what we have is a yeah. canopy opens. Nice. Actually, how do you expect? And this was really nice to be able to get a canopy that opens like that without having a windshield in front of it. Yeah. So this is actually how it opens. Yeah, I remember when you first started this project, you were pretty pumped that you got to use this windshield because mm -hmm. it's pretty much what it looks like. It works, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much a perfect fit for that windshield. That's always whenever I, I see um, the builders like trying to make a model, it, the windshield is always one of the hardest things to mm -hmm. to get around because you know Lego only makes certain shapes, right? Right. So. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that canopy opens. There's a little bit of a detailed cockpit. So the um, the, the control stick is on the side, as well as the um, throttle, so it's it's not in between your legs. Right. So it's more comfortable for the pilot, and they actually lean the pilot back um, slightly to help um, uh, for him not to pass out right. during the high G turns. Um, so that's I got a throttle and the stick on the side, right. and then you got the printed HUD. Oh yeah, can you? I don't know if you can show that off somehow. So that's a, that's a cool. Um, that's printed right onto a transparent cheese slope, mm -hmm. and it's got that cool like simulated green computer. I don't know how they project it onto a panel of glass or something. Yep, yep, they project it on onto the heads-up display. Yes. That's what the HUD is. So you, that's the same. That's the same um, heads-up display that we have in the aviation tile pack. Yep, correct. Yeah. Same same exact part. So, so it, it's it nice looks, to be able to include that. Yeah, it looks super slick. I mean, yeah. This is like the perfect application of it. So we've got printed uh, rescue tile on the side. Yep. And same on the other side, just reversed. Right. And we have a custom printed, I guess I can just show you yeah, the show side. Yeah, show it, show you gotta move this thing around. So this is the same uh, Gatling gun that's in the F-15. Right. And we just printed the, on the slope there to yeah. illustrate it. You know, dug in. It's a, sim it's a simulated little divot, kind of. Yeah. Cool. So, looks cool. And uh, stickers all over this thing. Stickers, the danger triangle. Danger triangle for the ejector seat. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's the danger triangle. <laughs> That's what I like to call it. <laughs> um, yeah. Refueling location on top. Yep. As a sticker. Mm -hmm. uh, stars and bars, Air Force, classic CO. Doesn't stand for Colorado unless you want it to. Then it does. Then it does. 
Uh, but in this case, it doesn't. In this case, necessarily. It doesn't necessarily. Unless you want it to. Oh, we're going in loops here. Um, my initials. <laughs> what? We've been doing that for a long time. I've never noticed. I always thought we were just making Colorado. <laughs> no. Um, no. Then the uh, kit number BKM eight seven two is on there as well. And we've got the moving flaps and the uh, elevators. Yes. Which do rotate like that. So they are supposed to be um, pitched a little bit at an angle off to the sides. Yeah, and you used the uh, I just used the mixel joints. Those mixel joints to great effect. Great effect. Effective effect. And then the landing gear Ooh. folds up, of course. Let me see if I can. I'll just keep spinning it so cameraman doesn't know what to do. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> so the front one, so this is, this actually turns a little bit if you want some more playability to have it taxi on the runway. Um, it's a friction pin, so it should be able to hold its... Does it like a really tiny bit. steering wheel in the cockpit <laughs> to do that, or how does that work? I don't know. Um, so this just closes right up. Yeah, it closes roof. flush, doesn't it? Pretty darn flush. Pretty darn flush. Pretty darn flush. So the doors are here. Um, when you have it open, um, close it around that. Otherwise, it'll want to push out, but this way it doesn't. Right. Um, so it just gives it a little more stability. And you can do it, Cody. I can do it. So the yeah. landing gears are always a bit of a challenge to, especially on this one, because it goes right into the into the intake in the fuselage. Yeah. But it's not uncommon for our kits to just unplug it from the axle. Sure. So this way, if you if you want to have this thing in a flying position, maybe you're hanging mm -hmm. it from the ceiling or maybe putting it on a stand of some of some sort mm -hmm. you can have you have this option right here this option here this option here and those close up nice right design. around it i think that fly that front part actually gets a bit more flush oh yes it does yep yeah, yeah. There we so go. look at that look how clean that is pretty clean super clean uh yeah closes up pretty clean <laughs> and we have all these hard points yeah speaking of hard points so you get this bare bones when you buy the set mm -hmm. and we have additional add-on packs um, the loadout the, the loadout. 16c loadout pack comes with drop tanks Ooh. which go in here it comes with a sparrow missile nice and these don't necessarily have to just go on the f-16 you can put them on any modern jet right. that you have or that you have personally built um, but this is a specific loadout for the F-16, but you could put it on. Nice. If you have an F-15 or what other jets we come up with in the future. <laughs> um, Side this winder. is the Sidewinder. Nice. Goes there. And you have the yellow markings on all these. Mm -hmm. High explosive. High explosive markings. And then we have the uh, AMRAM missile out on the sides. AMRAM. These are uh, interchangeable around each um, hard point, you know, just with minor modifications. Just sure. if you want to put the sidewinder somewhere else, you just remove that clip, put it mm -hmm. somewhere else, you know. Makes sense. But it's pretty interchangeable. And, that, and then it's on both sides. Yeah, so with this pack of all these uh, missiles here, right? Yep. It comes with the missiles and the fuel tanks. It comes with the... Oh, this is separate. Oh, that's separate. Yep, so this is the J1 Jammer. Um, Yitzi designed that for the A-10 Warthog. Yeah. Um, I think we just put instructions for that. Right. So now we have the kit version of that. Okay, so this is just a standalone thing here. Yeah, this is standalone. Okay. And I, I, is the guy separate the entirely? Guy's separate as well. Okay. Too. We'll talk about him later. So, J-1 Jammer. Um, all right, so we got that thingy. And... Check it out. So it goes in there. Sneak right in there. Sneak. And then you push the steering wheel up. You see, made this cool thing work. Let's see if I don't catapult it off. There we go. <laughs> nice, nice and smooth. And you can drive it around. You should, you should deploy your landing gears again. Oh. It's cool looking. And I'll drive this around. Okay. Time lapse. And then. Yeah, that's cool. Oops. <laughs> oh no. We. <laughs> oh, we got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the point where. So we're, we're coming out with a standalone figure here. Uh, it's the USAF ground crewman. So he's just he is available separately. 
Uh, and he's featuring a completely redesigned um, multi-cam pattern or OCP pattern. Multi-cam, and uh, to note, it is the best multi-cam out there. Oh, thank you, Cody, that's very <laughs> nice. Um, just completely redesigned from the ground up. Um, so this is the first time you're seeing that, or one of the first times, I don't know, I guess I've shown it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. But uh, so he he's just wearing the standard uh, newly developed um, a newly adopted uniform by the Air Force, um, so he would go great with this this pack here. Go great. Go great. Go great or go home. Yes. So you have this standalone figure. You have the standalone cart, and with jammer, jammer, jammer <laughs> with the, with the little display thing. Is that for displaying your missiles? Yeah. This is hanging out in the airfield. Check how cool the Sidewinder is. Yeah. Um, and then you have the upgrade pack over here and of course the kit loadout the loadout pack uh, the kit also comes with a custom printed minifigure mm -hmm. with some new artwork on this guy um, featuring a really really cool texture printed oxygen mask um, and that's based off of the current modern one that they use mm -hmm. uh, the um, the vest he's wearing like one of those survival vests with a few pouches um, and a pistol holster with the pistol. Yeah, pistol holster. Super cool. Sweet. I don't know if those pouches contain shark repellent. Shark repellent? Yeah, the old school survival vest had shark repellent. You open it up and there's a brick that said shark repellent. Yeah. I thought they were making that up, but it's true. What about like fruit snacks? <laughs> fruit snacks. <laughs> so you can put uh, so fruit map. snacks. There's this little port where you like unscrew and... <laughs> <laughs> That's where you put the fruit snacks. So I'm assuming that there are fruit snacks in these pouches because I couldn't find anything else. It can be assumed. That is absolutely what I would put in there. And he's also wearing um, just some uh, G-suit pants just for, for compression and under high gravity turn maneuvers. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, simple figure, pretty cool. Yeah. And in the back is like a parachute harness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he like clips into the seat, I think. Yeah, because this parachute's on the seat. Yeah. Um, what else do you want to show off? Uh, I forgot to show off these. Oh, did you forget? These bad boys. Just the little speed brakes or air brakes. Nice. Wherever you are, how you call it, whatever it is, air brakes or speed brakes. So that's how those function. I didn't even know that was on there. Mm -hmm. I didn't either until I, until I did. Until you did. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that sometimes you include stands with your air, aircraft. Yes. In this case, we're opting to just keep it standalone. Yes. So and standless. But what we might do in the near future is come out with a stand on the side, Ooh. and every modern jet that we create um, could interface with that. Yeah. Cool. So we'll see. Um, that's not set in stone yet, but I did make it adaptable for that function. Right. You'll see it in the instructions how you could put uh, either an existing stand or a modified stand into that location if you wanted to do so. If you wanted to do so. Cool. All right. That, that, that's it. That's right? the model. Cool. So that is the F-16C Fighting Falcon. Fighting Falcon, designed by Cody Ocell. Or Viper. Ooh. That's or his nickname. The Viper. It's a cool like, nickname. Like the Colonial Viper. Ooh. That's why they named it the Viper. The nickname. I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, on that cool note, I think that's the episode. Uh, for more information, check out brickmania.com and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And click that bell. Every time you click that bell, Cody has to dance live on television. What's the bell? I don't know. You don't know, so you gotta dance. <laughs>